Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Iacchino. So, checking in on tech, Tesla, long-legged doji day, coming down, testing the top of the rotation zone, which never crossed, and the, just above our GAN level, 237.56 area, running up to 248.19, that key area, the actual high was 248.71, just poking above this little prior resistance area and the GAN level, then settling back down virtually where it opened just below the R248. 288 to 243 50 cluster area. So, back RSI is pretty much in the middle on the daily chart. The end of the week, so let's do the end of the week wrap up. Let me expand this. So, wide range week tonight, this week. So, last week was an inside bar. This was an outside bar, outside bar, higher high than last week's high, lower low than last week's low. What are we watching for next week? Again, this uh, 248 area for a key close above that, bullish, and then we start watching for the higher levels, none of which has changed since our last video. We're still in this huge uh, consolidation phase since we've essentially been in since the end of June. So not really gone anywhere the last three weeks. We've, we've moved, but we're virtually in the same space. We'll find next week there are core uh, their no, oh, September and quarterly delivery numbers. Uh, people make a big deal about those, but again, it's miners what they sold the cars for. So we'll see that at the end of October when they announce their results for the whole quarter. Uh, but we should see some movement next week when the results are released about how many cars they did deliver in September and therefore what they did in the July, August, September quarter. So that's what we'll be really focused on by about midweek next week. So we have for you on this quick update. We'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.